where my bed is at, where my booty's at. It's your girl, I do, I do, gang, and I'm back with another freaking video. So what okay. I'm about to do, y'all, I'm about to, um, oh yeah, let me introduce my friends. Oh, well, this is my cousin, and this is my friend. I'm Taylor. I'm Belinda. All right, and I made up like 10 questions, and I'm about to ask not only them, but it's, I'm going to answer them too, and we're just going to answer it for you guys. So basically, we're going to be doing a podcast, you know, it's going to be funny, so y'all stay tuned. Make sure you subscribe if you're new to my channel. Make sure you like, and make sure you comment. Make sure you follow all down my below. social medias right down below, and I'm going to put their social medias too, period, so y'all follow them. Gang, 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 gang. All right, let's get right into the video. Okay, you guys, the first question is describe each other in one word. All right, I'm going to go first. And then it's gonna be you, Taylor, and then it's gonna be you, Belinda. Okay, so Taylor is Taylor goofy. That's what she is. She's goofy. She she's a goofball. Belinda Belinda is talk talkative. She talks a lot. She's talking like a motherfucker. She talks a lot. God damn. I make it energetic. That was my word. Surprises. I'm like, I don't know. It's so many different surprises you can know from this girl. Period. Go ahead, Belinda. Okay. I was in Megan. It's energetic, of course. And Taylor is more like chill. Why well, is she chill? Like, she be chilling. Yeah, I used to be, yeah, used to be <laughs> chilling. Yeah, I'm a little, yeah. <laughs> Okay, then next. And, and your mom just said, how you feel? Your mom just said, how you feel? <laughs> oh, we burnt right now. All right, so next one is, okay, pet peeve. All right. <laughs> so, look at Belinda already got something to say. You gonna tell <laughs> Why don't you start it off? You got that shit. All right, all right, my pet peeve. No. All right, my pet peeve. That looks like something that okay. bothers you, right? Yeah, it's something that bothers you. What? Yeah, it's something that bothers I got a lot, but I'll probably say, oh, like, I hate when people be scratching their throat. My mom does a lot, but... <laughs> yeah, I know y'all got a little aunt or something that do that. I hate when people do... <laughs> that joint is really annoying, like... Um, what else? I don't... Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna say one thing, so... I mean, I got, everybody got a lot of pet peeves, but... It's like... Taylor Whiskey. You know, when people are just staring at you or something. It's not a pet peeve, but it's like, it's like they're just staring and, you know, they want to say something, but they're not saying shit. Or, like, mm -hmm. really, I what's, like, one thing that is so annoying. You do so much for people, and then you ask them for something. It could be the little shit. You don't ask nobody for nothing. You want a little shit? What the fuck everybody has? <laughs> they disappear. They the go. And then when they need to, oh, bitch, I got you here. And now it's like, that's how I've been, I be peeping. I didn't narrow down with my friends. Nah, we not with that shit. Mm -mm. I right, belong to you. <laughs> I just hate it when people burp. Oh, oh yeah, Belinda hates when people burp. Like, it's a human. Everybody burp. Right? At least they say it's like, you. Right? No, I just feel like you should go in the bathroom to do that. Don't do oh, it. Nah. nah, I don't like nah, it. I think I feel like we can burp wherever we at. Uh -uh. Just say excuse me. As long as you I say excuse, excuse me, that's it's it. Not, no, like, I just uh, hate it when people because you know burp. when you burp sometimes whatever you ate and shit depends on you. Huh. <laughs> Whoa. So just say excuse me. All right. The next one is. What's one thing you want to achieve this year? All right, one thing I want to achieve this year is basically getting all my shit together because I'm moving soon. So getting all my shit together so I hopefully, like, I get everything together and to start um my school year and my program that I'm going to. Um, yeah, that's what I want to achieve, be successful. For me, it's like... At my job, I was supposed to be assistant manager before all this mm -hmm. dumb quarantine came. Oh, no. So it's really becoming that in a better position because you know I'm all about stacking. I gotta get more bread. So it's basically achieving that goal is to like save up money and shit, you know, and stop like wasting money on unnecessary shit. <laughs> Y'all know what we say. Mm -hmm. We pay for food. Y'all know that fast food. All right, Belinda. Anyway. <laughs> um, I mean, this year I had a lot of plans. I'm not gonna lie. I was planning to move out. Like, mm -hmm. you, you know, everybody had a lot of plans. Twenty twenty was supposed to be exactly. You know, I was supposed to travel. Mm -hmm. Trying to travel for me. So, so just say one thing that you want to achieve. Yeah, I was just hoping to achieve a house. This Damn! Hold up! She didn't even get an apartment yet. A, a house. house. Damn! Damn. 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 
got big goals. No, it, it, no it, was no it was either studio. a house or a car. Okay. That was. I like, think we should stick to the car. <laughs> Maybe because you gotta travel everywhere you go. Once you get a house, groceries, everything. All right. The next question is, what makes you mad? So that's kind of close to pet peeve, but what makes me mad? I hate like liars. That's what makes me mad. It gets me freaking like mad. It's just like, why are you lying? Like, what you lying for? Like, like I lying. Hate that. It's like especially when you know the truth. Yeah, it's like, yeah. Honest, that's why I'm like, I hate liars. But go ahead. Um, I get mad a lot. Like, so it's like I I get mad, but I don't get mad. But then it's like. I don't know what really gets me mad. Like, I know, me too. Cause like I don't really get mad. It's like something will have to get me so mad. Like, it's just like maybe like being annoying or something. Like <laughs> saying dumb shit. Like, yeah, I just be like, all right, just stop talking. Like, <laughs> I get, get irritated. It's not even mad. Just like, what are you talking about? Like, why are you still talking? But no. I mean, for me, I don't know. Seriously, because I don't get mad easily, so when I get mad, it's worse, meaning you did something really bad. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I don't so really nice. know. Mm. Too mm. nice. <laughs> mm. Period. All right, the next one is, uh, worst zodiac sign you've been in contact with? Mm. All right, the worst mm. zodiac sign I've been in contact with. Like a guy? Yeah. Okay. Or you could, or you could be like a female if you want to, but um, <laughs> and I, oops, I know. Well, I got, I'm gonna <laughs> say I got both, but all right, for um, okay, we'll probably do both then. I I got both. Nah, I ain't not gonna do both. I'm gonna do a nigga. <laughs> so <laughs> a I guy contact with, I'll probably say yeah, in Aquarius, yeah, yeah, in Aquarius. <laughs> <laughs> all right, Taylor, and I'm gonna give you a little background. So for me, it's like. A guy that the worst was a Virgo, but it's only guys because my best friend she's um a Virgo, so with the guy it was just like the nigga was just so bipolar, toxic, everything like that motherfucker. It was too much, mm -hmm. and with the girl it was Aquarius, like fake as shit, all that shit. It was just too much, um, and that was my worst. For me, I think it's Capricorn. <laughs> You know, it's not, no, it's not, it's not the one right now. Okay. It's somebody different. Okay. This one is and it's a guy? Uh, yeah, it's a guy. Like, I didn't get it. He is oh, a narcissistic. That's the word. Narcissistic. Oh, I know that's how to spell that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That is the word. He is so manipulative. So, yeah. It's mm. like, this, I know you just were right. It makes you feel like you were wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so next one is favorite zodiac sign best to date in your opinion and why? My favorite zodiac sign best to date as, as like an experience is um a Libra. Like one thing I can say about them is how they are really loyal. Like they're loyal, 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 loyal to the fullest. Like they're really loyal. So that's one thing. So I appreciate y'all Libras out there. I really do appreciate y'all. I fuck with y'all. So that's I think, like I've clicked um, so far, not even date, just, like, talking to, it's like, um, one of the Gemini. Period! Gemini! <laughs> you heard all of my cousin the Gemini, too, y'all. And, um, yeah, Gemini, I don't know, whatever. This uh, is a lot of different, but, that I really, really, like, vibe, click with. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I only known that person for years. He's a Gemini. I mean, I didn't know either, because... <laughs> Shout about to say Capricorn. No, I know the ones I be with. Like, I don't vibe that vibe. All right, who is? Who, so, I, I forget. Y'all everybody else sign. Mm -mm, Cause everybody I be with is a Capricorn. Mm. So dang, you really fucking. <laughs> that means that's what you compatible right. with. All right, so the next one I'll is different signs. What superpower would you want? Um, um superpower. Yeah. Superpower is it between invisible or reading mind? I think I want to do invisible because I'm really goofy. So I'm gonna pop up. I want to pop up. If I ever read somebody's <laughs> mind, motherfuckers so, yeah. will be dead. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, and I feel like because if I read somebody's mind, that's gonna be really annoying it's to gonna me. Make me go crazy. Go, yeah. So, but I'll do invisible. That's mine. I think I want to be able to teleport. That's dope. That's kind of like invisible in a way, but mm -hmm. like teleport. Damn, like you trying to go to Bali? Let's go. Like boom. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, that's I'm like, dope. how you really? Don't worry about it. Nobody, don't worry about it, sweetheart. Okay. Belinda, super I proud. Know. 
I mean, I would want to read mine. I don't care if it's exactly. annoying or not. Mm. I would want to because I want to know Demon. that's going on in your head. Demon time. Okay. <laughs> I want to know what's going on in your head. Then my favorite season is summer. <laughs> I like I like Ooh, spring and summer. summer. Like I like spring because it's like chill. You can wear a little sweater, or whatever. And I like summer because you ain't got wear no sweater, or nothing. Girl, let's be naked. Shit, but girl, I like I summer, like summer light. Mm, summer nights is like chill and shit. Like I like summer nights. It's like so chill, cool. You know, everybody be working and shit during the day to the night. You pop out. Period. <laughs> I like winter and summer. <laughs> Fuck with You like the snow? I mean, yeah, you I could be it. in a nigga's house. Who cares? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. She's like, I'm cuddling. Next Cuddle. season. Cuddling season. Okay. Uh, Alright, so next one is. Quarantine season. Like what, <laughs> I know, right? What food would you eat for the rest of your life? Yeah, I am Um, I'm gonna freaking say pizza. I fuck some pizza. So I know that's so regular and so normal, but I really fuck some pizza. Pizza? Yeah. We got something to fuck with. I can eat. Hey, yes. <laughs> I can eat salmon. Salmon's good. Salmon. I used to like always be out of all the things, <laughs> <laughs> but I was gonna say seafood. Then I was gonna say chicken wings. Then I was like, nah. Or like Alfredo. Like it's, I don't know. I mean, I really don't know. I don't. She, I didn't know if I should say an African food or an American if you want food. to. You can say both, both right? Okay. Okay. Which one? But African food, I could eat watching my whole life. And for um, watch it. Watch it's kind of like beans like, and rice and something. Oh, something. Yeah. yeah. And um American also wing star. Oh, <laughs> yeah, she <laughs> loves wing star. No, bitch, you know what you need to say? Fucking no, chips and walk. No, that one is so crazy. <laughs> oh my god. That one is crazy. Sure, so what country would you want to travel to? I will want to travel to Bali because I've been seeing pictures, y'all. Y'all know when you could be eating while you in the freaking like water and stuff like that. Like I just think that's so cute. Like I really want to go there, and one day I will speak into existence. I want to go to Bahamas. I was supposed to go there. Well, I, I should have been there right now. But like Bahamas, Hawaii and stuff. Like I want to go visit more other islands. Well, I would like to go to South Korea. Oh but my! I love... Did she go? No, <laughs> no seriously. I, I forgot. Really, it's like the language and their culture. I like it. I really do like it. All right, y'all. One day, y'all gonna see us all at the places that we said. Um. All right, y'all. The last question is: What's one thing people like about you? Um. Uh, people like that. I'm. Oh, oh damn, I want to say a lot of things, but I guess people like that. I'm. I guess outgoing. Yeah. People really like that. I'm outgoing. Okay. Um. I think it's like. Um. I'm easy to talk to because it's like when I meet people. I don't even ask them some things and they're just talking they about just their feel whole it. life. Yeah, they're vibe, And it's like, like <laughs> they feel that they can trust me or talk to me. And then I feel like happy because I'm like, oh, they actually trust me. Like they just met me and they feel like they can talk to me. And then I'll give advice or it's just like, it's a vibe. Like I just be chilling. Like I'm not judgmental and stuff like that. So it's like, I'll say from my point of view, but it's like, I'm not going to try and be like, no, da, 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 da. You're, you're too much this, you're too much that when I just met the person. So I feel like, yeah, it's just... So you're not judgmental? Mm -hmm. I'm you easy to talk to, basically. <laughs> What's my hi? Hey, for me, I don't know. Maybe I could, I give good advice, probably. Okay. Do you think I give... Yeah, you you t she she Belinda really actually talks a lot. Like she likes to hear what people's problems. She likes to give her advice a, a lot. She's a Gemini she's like me, so we like to talk. <laughs> she's patient. Yeah. So yeah, that's it. So, yeah. That's it, y'all. Ten questions they answer it all. Make sure you comment and let me know if you guys wanted to do a part two. We actually will probably. If y'all know who Kamara is, y'all probably don't know. But yeah, she's basically like a sister to me. I grew up with her, so she's gonna be in the part two. And we'll do Taylor's tire. <laughs> we gonna do this again. And the next one, I want it to be about relationships. So it's gonna be spicy. We gonna get spicy and spicy and spicy. Give me. All right. So y'all, I'm gonna catch y'all later. And if I do game, we out ya. <laughs>